Ja, som det satans stativ. So I have started making some parts for the hydraulic handbrake. As I showed, I bought these parts. I have now welded, welded them together. These are some water cut aluminium parts, which I got from Badass Parts Finland. And uh, this universal handbrake cylinder uh, fits right into this now. Like that. And uh, I have made this handle from a steel pipe, 22 millimeter, and a bicycle handle on the end. Very simple. And I welded a small piece of thicker pipe here, which I'm going to fit some plastic bushings that I will machine. And also this, this piece, I have welded a nut here, which fits this thread on the cylinder. And this will be, I will drill a hole through the pipe, and this will be here with some bushings between. Very simple and good working system. I have had this in many, many projects before. So I will assemble these now and try out where it fits in the car. I have made a bracket from, from a thick angle steel which I'm going to weld to the tunnel. I have marked here already and tested. I fitted the front seat and the steering wheel to try out where it's good to have it. So about there. I think it's a good good spot to have it in a daily car. But also I tried to take the front seat in the front position so it doesn't hit the, the seat. So now I will weld this in and paint this. So now the handbrake mount is welded and uh, all the electronics are sorted out and the uh, stereo cables are almost done. I made a thick positive wire all the way to the trunk if I need some plus there sometimes and also the sound cables for a amplifier or something good to have if you want some Dunka dunka sometimes. And it's now time to start cleaning up the interior. It looks very, very nasty. I don't know if this car has been sitting or if it's just dirt on every single piece. This floor carpet was all wet and nasty when I took it out, but it has dried now. So I have to clean clean all of these parts. The back seat is very terrible. Some dog hair and all sorts of shit. And I have borrowed this water vacuumer from my friend. And this is the perfect tool to clean up, clean up dirty interior with. But first I will vacuum this with a regular vacuumer and then start cleaning with this. So let's see if I can save this interior or if I need to find another one. And now before I install the interior I will spray some of this rust rust protection inside the, the holes inside here so the oil comes inside this 
where I welded welded all the rust so it will be protected from inside also. So the interior is now in, just some small small fixes left to do, the horn button and the boost gauge, but it's kind of ready now inside. I haven't installed the hydraulic handbrake, I will install it after the MOT inspection, but here is the, the mount, I cut a hole through the carpet. It sticks out right like that. And I will now try to move it for the first time by its own power. <laughs> 